Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here playing NASCAR Heat 5 at Daytona. We're back at Daytona once again doing this race. Uh, now, previously, when we did Daytona just a few weeks ago, we played Project Cars 2 to show you guys the road course layout and then jumped here to play the oval. But this time, obviously, we're just doing the oval. And this race here is meant to close out the season and has been the entire time. So that means the NASCAR is now back on schedule from what the original schedule was released uh, sometime last year for what 2020's calendar was supposed to be. So it's great. Good job by them to just get everything in there and get back on schedule with what was the original intended goal for 2020. You know, finish with Daytona. And then do the playoffs as as they're scheduled at the moment. The schedule for the rest of the season is is set. Like that's that's it. So this is Sea Glass Exalta's 2020 Global Automotive Color of the Year. Is that the blue? I'm assuming that's the blue. I mean, if it is, I like it. We're racing is William Byron here. Closeout race of the regular season. Next week we jump to Darlington for the Southern 500. And that's gonna be fun. So we begin racing Darlington, really where we began doing this weekly preview series back in May. Uh, something that I wanted to do for a while and we just didn't really, didn't really do it. And now we are and it started in Darlington. We're gonna head back to Darlington for the third time uh, this season, but I believe the first time in F1, not F1, playing, playing the F1 videos, uh, recording those before this, in NASCAR uh, Heat 5. I'm going to say F1 2020. NASCAR Heat 5. F1 2020, we've been doing these videos as well, of course, previewing. That's going to get a little bit more fun just a couple weeks from now. Some of the tracks in that on the calendar are not in the game, so we're going to have to try and do our best with them. It's going to be interesting. We'll do some of what we did here for NASCAR and do Project Cars 2 to start off uh, as we did for Daytona. But we're going to have to do that three times? Four times for that? I think there's three tracks that were added to the calendar that were not, I think. No, there was four. There was four. Oof. Yikes. Yeah, there's two in Italy, Portugal, and Germany. Yikes, dude. It's a bit unfortunate, so we're going to use Project Cars multiple times for that. But, either way, back to this. We're trying to work our way through the field. I never qualify here. I just find qualifying at Daytona boring and pointless. Bro, you could have went for that move, dude. Come on. Yeah, we're not getting squeezed here three wide, bro. Sorry. Sorry, Truex. You're going to have to go. Suarez really could have made that move on Truex and just didn't down the back straight. That's I find that frustrating. See, I feel that they could put the Daytona Road Course in this game. I don't know if they will. It seems like a lot of work. They don't want to do a lot of work uh, for this game. I mean, I doubt they will, but. The thing really is just getting the infield part done, because they have the outer part here. You can see right there the entrance. The entrance lines are set. The exit lines there are set. Like, I think that that part is well set. It's just that they have to try to figure out how they'd make the infield. I mean, you'd have to code the cars to take the chicane instead of on the back straight instead of going straight. And put the chicane on the front straight, but... Come on, we're struggling to go up to the gears here. Come on. Come on. You get that occasionally in these games with the super pseudos, your car just will not go. And that's what we're getting now. Our car is not going. It's refusing to get up to speed. I'm just holding down the gas as much as possible. I'm just getting... 
completely crushed by everybody. Got a car coming out now. There we go, finally. Outside, outside. We're going somewhere. Nobody out back. That was a problem in NASCAR Heat 4 as well. I mean, granted, it's the same game, but like. I know what happens at Talladega and Daytona occasionally. Bro, Corey LeJoy just slams the brakes on mid straightaway or mid entry to the corner because he's behind McDowell. Like, come on, bro. Be better than that. Right here behind McDowell, we can give him a big shove. But are we gonna? Nope. Cut down from underneath him. But McDowell's gonna still have the high side advantage there on the exit. Push coming from Kyle Bush to us here. Now we're gonna slide up in front of McDowell, slow him down, and now we're gonna get back in front of Bush. Block and there we go, brilliant. Yet to win Daytona in this game. It has been since the first Michigan race that we won. Daytona video, we lost. Two Dover videos and the second Michigan video, so it's been a while. Can we come home to get the win here? I'm not sure. Right now, we're working on trying to get through stage two here at Daytona with our car intact. Don't want to get spun head on into a wall and get a DNF. Up in front of McDowell. Kyle Busch hitting us there. We're going to go for a ride through the grass here. I'll take third, I'll take it, I'll take it, considering the contact and now all that stuff. I'll take whatever whatever happened there. So we're going to get four tires this time, which ultimately will hurt us. We had to get four tires, though. We only took two last time we to the front. All right, so right around us, we have a random made-up driver. Clint Boyer, Jimmy Johnson, Bubba Wallace, it looks like Alex Bowman. And... Um, Ryan Blaney. We also got Kislowski here next to us. So this is a Harvick up there. So we got a bunch of cars here. All right. So we got by Johnson. Now we can work on trying to get up to Bubba Wallace, so we can slipstream by there. Ooh, Wallace gonna get squeezed out there, isn't he? Just a little bit. He's gonna fall back. Blaney there now. Bowman. Bowman up next on our pass list. And then Blaney. Bubba Wallace giving us a little bit of a push through here. That's brilliant. Somehow our draft partner is Ryan Blaney. It's Bubba Wallace. He's right behind me. Come on. Ryan Priest now in front of us. Now we're trying to pull up on Chase Elliott. Contact there from Bowman. Three wide behind us. Big, big, big push here coming. This bottom line is going quickly. So I want to be as the bottom line, really. But now that outside line's working a little bit better, and I don't like it. Priest and Blaney pushing up there to Chase Elliott. My decision to take four tires here at Daytona was not brilliant. But it's kind of what I had to do. So we're going to shuffle out Kyle Busch at least. Get a spot there. Work on Truex. Work with Harvick here trying to get by Kurt Busch. Working brilliantly with Harvick. That's what we need. Get by Almarola as well. Work on Harvick still. Come on. Now we're going to work on getting by Suarez. Big push coming from Kyle Busch. 
Corey LaJoy there. We need to get by Christopher Bell. Bell goes up high. Harvick going here and caution is out. We're still going to be behind Harvick, which is good. We can work to shove with him. We also got Kyle Busch here, who was giving us a good push. So I'm kind of disappointed that he's not going to stay behind us. But This is it. These few laps here, and we're going to be heading to the playoffs. Big playoff deciding, deciding race. Playoff deciding race at a super speedway. I love it. I love the chaos of it all. Somebody random could make the playoffs. And I absolutely love that. Yeah, I do find it disappointing that we had to lose the, the history of having... Uh, you know, the Daytona July race, I really, really think that that's important to keep. But I do think something like doing a playoff deciding race is really kind of interesting. Because somebody random could win this race and get in. Somebody completely wild could just secure that spot with a dub that you don't expect to be in it. And I absolutely love that that's a potential. It just makes things more crazy. If you're going to have playoffs and have it be stupid system, which it is, and we're not just going to do points, well, let's have some chaos in it then if we're going to do it. Careful, still there. Outside, outside. I love when a random driver gets in. It's so funny. Right, like the first year when we had, uh, in 2014, we had A.J. Allmendinger winning Watkins Glen after Eric Amarola won in Daytona in July. Like That was wild to get those random drivers and you know you get that throughout the years like Austin Dillon got in a couple times like like this year Austin Dillon got in and also Cole Custer got in like that's wild got one outside now. and same with the years that Austin Dillon got in like he got in by winning these random ass races that you know fuel mileage race or a uh, race where you crash somebody to win like that type of thing. Like it's wild when you get those random drivers in. So if we get somebody random from Daytona this uh, this week, I mean, it's probably going to be someone's going to get eliminated in the round of 12 or round of 16. Let's be honest. But All right, let's go. Right. always interesting. So can we get by Joey Logano here? Coming to the end of this thing. He's pulling away just a bit. I don't like that. But I'm going to get a massive push here. Massive toe from Logano. Is he going to block us? No, he's not. Into the corner, side by side. Going for the win at Daytona. Push or whoever's in the number 52 car. I don't even know. And we're going for it. Big push down this kind of straight here into the tri-oval for the win at Daytona. Absolutely brilliant. We got the win at Daytona, finally. It's really interesting when it comes to super speedways. Talladega and Daytona are very similar, but sometimes people are good at one or the other. We see that in actual Racing with NASCAR, where a driver may win in Talladega a bunch of times, or may win in Daytona a bunch of times, but not win in the opposite. And I have that in this game. I always seem to do really, really well at Talladega. Comes to Daytona, I just don't do as well. Not sure why. I mean, the only difference really is banking and a little bit of the length, but... For some reason, I know in NASCAR Heat 4. I think I won Daytona like two or three times... Maybe four times out of all the races that I did, I did a bunch. Came to Talladega and I won like eight out of the 11 or something wild. Seven out of the 11. I know that my dad did one of them, so that he didn't win it. So really, it was seven out of 10 races that I won there. That's pretty good. Where Daytona was like three out of eight or nine or something crazy. So 
Definitely Daytona has always been one of those tracks that I haven't won as much as compared to Talladega for some reason. But to come here, secure the win in this video. Next week, we'll be back going to Darlington. That's going to be quite fun for the Southern 500, the first race of the playoffs. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.